of the closed circuit system. The collector closed circuit is used to transfer solar energy from the solar collectors to the storage tank via a heat exchanger system. The closed loop contains a mixture of water and a propylene glycol solution known as ST5 which prevents damage to the solar collectors during periods of below zero temperatures. Please be aware there are no circumstances under which solutions other than water and ST5 can be used in the solar water heater system. To fill the closed loop collector circuit, you will require the following. One bottle of ST5 solar transfer fluid. One 10 litre bucket. One small water pump capable of generating at least 300 kilopascals of pressure. Three clear PVC hoses, each about one metre long and two metal hose clamps. Now fill the bucket with clean water. Connect one end of a plastic hose to the drain port and place the other end into the bucket. Connect one end of the second plastic hose to the fill port and the other end to the discharge connection of your filling pump. Connect one end of the third plastic hose to the suction side of your filling pump and place the other end into the bucket. Using the fill port key supplied with the HEM25, open the fill and drain ports. About four turns are required. Close the pump isolation valve by turning the screwdriver slot into a horizontal position. Start pumping until water is flowing freely back into the bucket from the plastic hose connected to the drain port. Continue pumping until the water is flowing freely with very few air bubbles. This usually takes about 30 seconds to stabilize. Close the drain port and continue pumping until the pressure gauge reads between 1 and 1.2 bar. Then close the fill port and stop pumping. Now inspect all connections at the HEM 2.5 pump module and pump up to and including the collector connections there must not be leaks at all. Any leaks must be repaired and the testing procedure completed again. When you are sure that there are no leaks, open both the drain and fill ports, allowing the water in the circuit to flow back into the bucket. After releasing the test water from the system, leave all the hoses connected to the HEM 2.5 module, but empty the test water from the bucket. Empty the contents of the ST5 container into the bucket, then fill with 10 litres of clean water. As in the test procedure, start the filling pump and continue to pump until the solution is flowing freely back into the bucket from the plastic hose connected to the drain port. Continue pumping until the water is flowing freely with very few air bubbles. It will usually take about 30 seconds to stabilise. Close the drain port and continue pumping until the pressure gauge reads 1 to 1.2 bar. Then close the fill port and stop pumping. Check the pressure gauge is now stable at a pressure between 1 bar and 2 bar. Anywhere between these two pressures is normal operating pressure. Please note, it will vary between these two pressures depending on the installation specifics and the temperature on the day of filling. Finally. Open the pump isolation valve by turning the screwdriver slot into the vertical position. The closed circuit is now ready to operate.